On this episode of Skeptico, Alex talks with Joseph Atwell about his book, Caesar's Messiah, and the unusual controversy surrounding it. We see the same parallels in the historical accounts to the biblical accounts, and they only can lead us to one conclusion, and that is that the Bible was written in a way to point towards Titus as being the Messiah. And the motivation for that, obviously, would be to get people to believe that the new king is the religious king. Right. I mean, they had a political motivation, but I think the primary motivation was just vanity. This was the era of the imperial cult. The Caesar claimed to be a living god. The Gospels, even though they look like religious literature and they function as it, are actually just a vanity piece. I would suggest your listeners look at photographs on the internet of the Arch of Titus in Rome, and there you'll see uh, Vespasian and Titus, two of the Flavian Caesars, identified as God the Father and the Son of God. And the events of the Jewish war that Jesus predicts are just being represented. So really, the Gospels are just a literary version of the Arch of Titus. Stay with us for Skeptico. (laughs) 